All right, so we got this flounder today. I've never filleted a flounder before, but it doesn't seem too tough. We're learning together here. So uh, we're gonna start with the cut around the head here, and and then we're gonna cut down along the lateral line. There's a fillet here, a fillet here, and then I'm not sure, but I think there's also a fillet here and a fillet here. So we'll uh, we'll cut all these out and uh, see what we end up with. So let's just start with the cut here. So we want to make sure we don't miss out on all the meat. It's a little hard right here, so I think right behind the head here is where we want to cut. And then cut down to the bone, and then stop at this spine, this lateral line here. And then turn it and cut along the lateral line. And you can see there's like a bend here in it, so we're going to follow that bend. Just cut right along it, real close, like, and cut to the end. Now I've seen it done two ways. I've seen that you can either start here and peel it out, uh, or you can start with an incision along the top. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the incision along the top, just to get basically ensure that the fillet uh, comes off cleanly. Ooh, let's cut here, and this is just right along that fin. A nice angle down a tiny bit, so you make sure you don't uh, waste any of that meat. All right, now it's coming from the top. And start to turn the knife to the side and we want to run it along the bone there's a bone like a bone like a rib cage I think is what it technically is for this guy going along this and we want to run the knife right along it just as best we can not much room in here so start this end get done with this part of the uh, where that lateral line flattens out Yeah, and this is a pretty small fish, so. Yeah, now we get that long flat spot. This angle might be better. Oh yeah, this angle's much better. Now I'm gonna basically meet that cut that I made up here. I'm just working my way up and I'm gonna meet it right along the bone there. And you can see here those bones I was talking about, it's actually worked out really well. Here. But keep that knife angled slightly down and just slide it right along, right along that bone. <laughs> we got a cute little play. It actually is like that's like all the meat. I really didn't do that bad here. Like there's there's no more meat. That was like almost perfect play. So do that. Now what we're gonna do on this side? We want to find the gut cavity. And I think that is that. I followed that lateral line, but I think that's good meat, so I might cut that out. But the gut cavity is right here, so we want to cut right below it. It's right here. Just make that that top of the fillet or that uh, that side of the fillet cut there as close to that gut as we can, and then we want to cut this right along the fins. Just like before. All right, now let's come in here from this side. I believe, and I'm, I'm eating a bone, so I might have to flip it over. Yeah, there's a bone there, so we do have to make this cut right on the other side of that line. Again, I'm just turning that knife sideways, following it right along the bone there and just sliding it down towards the bottom of the fish in this case, sliding it away from the center. Keeping it right along the rib there. Yeah, the guts are coming out. Another cute little fillet here. Kind of missed some bones there, you can see. But I can cut those off right now. Cut down the other side. 
balloon. Tiny filet number two. And there's really no meat there, so that was perfect. And there are two other filets. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. Uh, I'm gonna start with the top. So if you look at his face, this is, a, this is upwards. I'm gonna start up here. Cut up here, and let's get as much meat as we can so that there's kind of where the soft parts, or the hard part of the, uh, the head starts. It's right around here. And then we're gonna cut down along that lateral line. Boom. Try to cut, this is really thin. I'm gonna try to cut down here. Just like on the other side like that. It's really thin. Might not be able to get much here. <laughs> like barely any meat here. So that's ugly. But I, there's really not much there to cut through, so Let's see how this works out. Get that knife back in there. And we just wanna turn it just like before follow along with that bone. That top part, there's like a rib cavity that you need like over there. Starting to work our way up, looking good. Let's try to cut a good chunk there. Perfect. like I've done this before. But I haven't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the power of YouTube. So yeah, that's what, this is the part that I was kind of, I was like, wow, it's really jagged, but there really isn't any meat there, so. Let me clean that up. No bones. Very nice. Point number three. So finally, the last section. Again, there's that gut cavity, and so you can feel where that gut cavity is, right? Just this, really just this tiny little spot here. And then you can feel where the skin kind of gets uh, hard again. And the body kind of gets hard again. So we're just trying to maximize the amount of meat we get, really. I don't think this side has the same bone, so we can't just cut right through without making a second cut. Oh, yeah. Oh, I missed some, though. That's the first part I missed. Tiny bit. Doesn't feel like there's any bones right through the middle here, so that's probably what we're what the problem is. Oh I think I know what the problem is. I went right right from the side, I went like this instead of going down and over. So keep in mind. Just basically cutting this little tag in through. Right close to the gut cavity, but trying to avoid cutting into it. Top of it. Perfect. Look at that. Now we're getting down, getting that last cut of meat by keeping that like in low angle, cutting along the bone, popping it out the other side there. Let's see how this one looks. This might be the, the worst quarter. Yeah. Not too bad. Could have been worse. Been a little better. I mean, just a tiny bit. Uh, there are cheeks. You gonna take his cheeks? <laughs> I could try. Yeah, you can feel a soft spot here. Let's try to. I can't, it's so small. <laughs> that's, yep, that's a tiny little cheek right there. Supposed to be the best part of the fish on most flounders. And this halibut, you get like a steak size one, you know. <laughs> a tiny little bite, we'll keep it, whatever. <laughs> Nothing goes to waste. And that's it. Filleted starry flounder. Alright, thanks for watching. 